Well, I hope you can see the benefit here. It's a really a great way to spend time so you don't have to spend that time later on when you just want to be in creative mode rather than you know what I would kind of call housekeeping mode. Now, a further way to help with housekeeping is to build up templates in whatever DAW you use. I normally have templates uh, with a bunch of effect sends already set up in my favorite um, DAW with my favorite plates, delays, a uh, whole slaps, uh, parallel compression, uh, crash buses. Basically, if I use a bunch of different effects and routings, I normally spend time creating this in an empty song and then save that as a template. Now, each DAW is gonna have a different way of setting this up, but you just need to look at your documentation about how you save uh, templates. Now, if I'm mixing someone else's session, I'll load up that empty template and then import those tracks. In. If I'm recording my own song, then I'll start out with, uh, with one of those uh, templates. But either way, I would highly encourage you to start looking at ways that you can kind of templatize uh, your projects. Now, um, assuming that we've done all of that, I would then go through and start building a rough mix. And in a rough mix, I'm just basically trying to adjust levels and pans to kind of see what I've, I've got. I typically start with drums and then add the lead vocal, then the background vocals, and then fill in the mix around those uh, drums and vocals. Um, and it's in this process that you kind of just start to understand which are the important parts of your mix. And the importance has a lot to do with the genre of music. Now we can start, you know, you can start with this assumption here that the lead vocal will always be the most important part. But if I was mixing a pop or a folk song, then the lead vocal, lead vocal might even be more important. In a, in a rock song, you know, the, the guitars would be driving the song. In a hip hop song, it'll probably be a, you know, a drum driven song. Now you'll, you'll wanna keep note of any instrument playing uh, kind of the up or the and notes in a reggae song, for example. What is important in that genre? So basically the rough mix gives you time to understand the song and what the producer had in mind when the song was recorded. Obviously, if you're doing somebody else's song, go through any notes uh, with those songs if that came with them.